Hi everyone, it's teacher Bianca again. Okay, so this week we're still at home, but it doesn't mean our learning stops. Now if you remember something that we learned in the classroom a lot and we talked about a lot is our feelings. Okay, it's really important to talk about how we're feeling. So how are you feeling today? Okay, so we're gonna kind of play a little game. We're gonna practice identifying different emotions or different feelings, okay? So I'm gonna show you a picture and we're going to look at the picture, look at the details and decide how that person is feeling. All right, so our first picture is of this little girl. So she has her hands on her cheeks. Her eyes are looking in a different direction. How do you think she's feeling? Okay, so our two options are anxious or bored. Remember that anxious means when you're feeling like you have too many emotions, like you're feeling a little scared, you're feeling worried, you don't know what to do. And then bored is when you physically don't have anything to do. You don't have any interest, you don't want to play with certain toys, you're just bored, you don't, you don't know what to do. Okay, so how do you think she feels? Yeah, I think she's bored. Yeah, she doesn't look scared or, or stressed out, but she does look kind of bored, like she has nothing to do. I know some of you are feeling this way at home, and that's okay. Sometimes we get bored, but we can talk about different things, find mom or dad or sister or brother, and read a book together. Do something so that you don't feel bored, okay? And let's see our next one. Here's another little girl. She has her fingers hooked into her cheeks. She's tugging at them. How do you think she's feeling? Do you think she's sad or is she being silly? Yeah, I think she's being silly. Look at her. She's, she's just playing. She's having fun. She's feeling silly today. All right. Here's another one. Now this woman, I see her biting on her fingernail, her eyes are in another direction, her eyebrows are, are pulled down. How do you think she's feeling? There's two options here again. She's anxious or she's bored. Remember we talked about bored. Bored is when you have nothing to do and, but you're not feeling anything in particular. Anxious is when you're feeling very stressed out, you're feeling worried or scared. I think she kind of looked a little scared too, so I think she's anxious, okay? Now remember we can feel that way too. Sometimes we feel a little anxious or worried, but that's when we need to talk about it, okay? You can go up to mommy, daddy, grandma, grandpa, or whoever's at home with you, an adult, and say, I'm feeling kind of anxious. I'm not sure what to do. And maybe they can help. You can talk about what you're feeling and why you're feeling it. Okay, now the next one is this little boy right here. I see a smile on his face. His eyebrows are lifted up. His eyes are wide open. How do you think he's feeling? Do you think he's mad or is he happy? I think he's happy too. And we feel like this a lot of times when we're playing a fun game with our, our family or when we're at school with friends, okay? This is a really nice feeling. Happy. Okay. Okay, here is the next one. So, this little boy, I see him with his fists up. His eyebrows are a little closer together. His nose is a little crinkled too. And I can see his teeth. How do you think he's feeling? Is he mad or is he happy? I think he's mad too. Yeah, I can see that he's upset. Remember that when we feel this way, we don't want to use force and we don't want to hurt anyone. So we need to use our words. We need to tell them, I'm mad, I'm upset, and tell them why you're upset, okay? And then you can talk about it. And maybe we can fix it with words, okay? That's a good one. And then we have this one. This little girl, she has her hands to her mouth. Um, I see her eyes are a little bit closer together and then her, her eyebrows are also kind of together. How do you think she's feeling? Is she feeling silly or is she feeling scared? 
Yeah, I think she's scared. Sometimes we can feel this way and sometimes we don't even know why. Okay, but when we feel scared, we need to tell an adult. We need to say, I'm feeling scared. Okay, and maybe we can figure it out. Maybe we can take that scary thing away or talk about it and you won't be scared of it anymore. Okay. Right. Okay, this little girl. I actually see tears. Her mouth is open. Her eyes are closed. I think she's crying. How do you think she's feeling if she's crying? She's also on the floor. So you think she feels proud? Or do you think she feels sad? Yeah, I think she's sad. I see her crying. And sometimes we don't know why the person is crying, so we can ask, are you okay? Are you sad? Why are you sad? And you can talk about your feelings. If you're feeling sad too, go to an adult and tell them I'm feeling sad. And we can talk about it and we can figure out why you're sad. And maybe we can fix that, okay? All right, this is the last one, friends. Okay, this little girl, she has her hands to her mouth too. Um, but I see her eyebrows are not close together. They're, they're up. Her eyes are a little bit closed, but she's still looking, but she's hiding her mouth. So how do you think she feels? Does she feel mad? Or does she feel shy? I think she's shy. Sometimes we can feel shy when we're meeting someone new or we're in a new place and we don't know anyone. Okay? Sometimes we feel shy. Like, I don't know what to say. I'm, I'm shy. Okay? And we can, we can say that too. We can say, I'm sorry, I'm a little shy. I don't feel like talking right now. Okay, because you're getting to know the environment. Environment means the place around you or the people around you. Okay. All right, friends, that's a good job. So remember, when we want to talk about our feelings, we can go to an adult if it's a really strong feeling and we can ask them for help. Or if you're happy, we can talk about why we're happy too. That's a good feeling. Okay. Okay, friends, since we just talked about feelings, what we're going to do next is a little activity for you at home, okay? So I want you to go to your family members and give them a compliment. Remember that compliments are nice words that can make us feel good about ourselves, okay? So you can go up to mommy and say, Mom, I love your cooking. You're such a good cook. And that can make her feel really happy, okay? Or you can go up to your brother and say, Brother, I love the way you draw. You're a really good artist. Something that makes them feel good, okay? Something that you know about them and that you love about them, okay? Good job, friends. Until next time.